In this Diecast Emporium review, we're going to be taking a look at a Diecast Masters model. It is the Caterpillar D7E track type tractor in the pipeline configuration, one of 2018's most anticipated new models. Now, I say new models. Well, actually, this was released by Norscott a number of years ago as a standard D7E Cat's Electric Drive um, track type tractor. However, it had this obnoxious GPS pod up on top of the blade that everybody hated and a ripper assembly, which a number of people also hated. So it's nice to see that they took a positive spin on the D7E and turned it into a uh, proper machine with a pipeline configuration with a very specific job. So that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at the tin first. It is item number 85555. It is in 1 to 50 scale for those wondering. Nice glossy picture up on top. Looks great. Here's a picture of the model. D7E track type tractor pipeline configuration. Here's your item number, Highline Series. And another great picture over there on the right. And some specification details. If you want to read those, go ahead and pause the video now and take a look at those. So once you take the top off, inside you will see an instruction sheet for how to put the operator into the cab, which is really simple. You just pop the top off and put him in. You'll also get your little standard Diecast Masters operator here. And also two extra screws, and I'll show you where those go in just a minute. So you remove the two-piece foam rubber, and you get your tractor out here. So the first working feature of this is that the top is removable. So you just pop it off by lifting up from the rear like this, where the air conditioning unit is, and then you can put your figure inside. But while we're at it, we can see the seat, along with some foot pedals, an instrument panel, um, a few other details inside. Really a great job. Let's go ahead and put this back on. Just snaps right on, just like that. And you're ready to go. So we'll start with the back. You have your cat logo up on top of your air conditioning unit. Uh, your mesh back here. Along the cab, which is your window guarding, which looks absolutely amazing on this model. It is plastic, uh, but as you can see in the light there, you can see straight through into the cab. Here is your winch set up in here. You can operate your winch by turning this. And that will operate the winch. Another cool feature is your folding down access ladder back here. It is made of plastic, so you want to be careful. You also have some other grab rails, painted lights, and some hydraulic uh, lines leading to the winch assembly. Right back in there, up on top. You can see the black right there. Moving to the side of the dozer, you have the cat logo uh, up in here. D7E, all of this is applied with graphics, including the engine perforations. It's not actually perforated through, it's just a graphic, but it is nicely implemented. Uh, warning label there. Now, here are your screws. They would have looked better um, if they maybe hadn't been screws, but I understand what they were trying to go for here. If you want to, you can take this whole blade assembly off if you would like to see this on a low boy or perhaps you just don't want the blade on it for whatever reason uh, but that's why you are supplied with two extra screws in case you uh in case you lose one taking it off at least on the review model which is a pre-production sample model it should be noted uh, that those are the keywords uh, my blade is fixed at an angle meaning that I can't change it left to right. It is offset to one angle. I don't know if that will be different on the final production one. My guess, based upon the fact of having previous uh, pre-production samples versus what the actual models came out to be, is that um, the change would not be made. That is just a guess. The blade also has a pretty noticeable scuff on it right here. That's how it was delivered to me. But other than that, it looks pretty good with some wear plating 
right along the bottom. You do have uh, nice adjustable rubber hydraulic lines again leading to the front. It does raise up to there. Pretty decent height. And it will go down to just below itself right there. The tracks do move, and for whatever reason, they seem to want to move better on a... Uh, they, they work better in reverse than they do moving forward, uh, but I'm sure that would free up in time, and they are spring-loaded. I don't know if you can see the tracks like that. Let me try it this way. But they are tensioned. So there it is, guys. There is the Caterpillar D7E in 1 to 50 scale by Diecast Masters, the pipeline configuration. Uh, one of the most highly anticipated models, just because it's something new. It's something that uh, we've all been pushing for. I know I personally have been pushing for. You can only have so many excavators and wheel loaders, and they're all the same. Give us something different. And it's nice to see a purpose-built machine. And I'd love to see more of these type of uh, equipment down the road so along with the specialized uh detailed cab it had the metal tracks the blade raises and lowers i went over the fact that it had the rear winch and the window garden the window guarding and uh the roof lifts off for access for the operator if you so choose to put it in there so if you guys have any other questions comments or concerns please let me know and until next time take care thanks for watching we'll see you in the next video